Hey guys, uh, I am your tech guide Anand Veer from TechSoul and in this video I am going to be showing you the latest HP 14 inches variant in the entry level series, the 14S CF series of laptops. This video will show you how to disassemble this particular model and upgrade the RAM, hard drive, SSD. This is one video you need to watch before buying this particular laptop. So the top panel is uh, completely silver in color and uh, once you open uh, you see two sided nano bezel. So the screen is uh, full HD but it does not have uh, anti glare, it has got a glare screen and it comes in uh, variants of Core i3 and the Core i5. The model that we are reading today is the CF3006TU which is a Core i3 10th generation variant and uh, the keyboard quality is as uh, usual, the HP keyboard quality, very nice keyboard good size of the keys and good uh, feedback on the keyboard and the letters engraved on this particular keyboard are very nicely done the entire metallic finishing as well as the speaker grill on the top gives you a very premium finish the vent here is again blocked by the display screen uh, that's not a good thing but for an entry level laptop which is not dissipate a lot of heat this is absolutely fine the power button is placed here the touch pad is a click pad basically it has got the right and left clicks and uh, as well as a multi gesture touch pad on the left uh, you have a Kensington lock you have a C type connector you have memory card reader SD memory card reader hard drive indicator and uh, power indicator on the front there are absolutely no IOs whatsoever on the right uh, you have a hyphen mic combi you have two USB 3.0 ports you have a HDMI port and you have a gigabit ethernet port and then a DC jack connector as well as a DC jack indicator. The base of the laptop, uh, you prefer more uh, perforated area, but uh, the ventilation is not all that great on this particular laptop. Let's see if the laptop opens with one hand. It does not, it's got very, very tight hinges as you can see, and this is bound to come off in a year or two once you're using it regularly. Try to get the hinges loosened after a year of usage. So these are powered by 10th generation processors, so 4i3 and 4i5, the 14 inches variant will all look the same. The same process will apply across whether it is a 4i3, 4i5 or uh, any other variant, EMB also will be precise. So this video has been shot uh, on the HP 14S 3006 uh, TU, the CF series of uh, HP laptops and uh, the quality is very very good actually. For an entry level laptop which is around 40,000 rupees here in India, the Core i3 variant, the video quality is fantastic. The lighting even if it is low, it is giving a good quality here as well as the audio quality is also very nice because of the cool area of the microphone that it has. So. Impressive, there's absolutely no exposure change or no banding on this particular laptop. So this is the audio quality, the bass is very poor, uh, it's very tinny, the audio is it's full volume. The clarity is there but uh, the audio could be better, the volume could be louder on this thing and there could be some bass onto this laptop. To start things up, you need to flip the laptop and you need to remove the screws that are visible as well as the screws that are not visible. So the screws are hidden below these rudders here, both here as well as here. You need to use a prior like this and need to remove this. These screws are different, smaller. Start 
protruding from the right side. Very easily and comfortably the entire piece will give away. Very neatly designed laptop, not many screws, very easy to get access to the entire piece. You need to remove all the screws of the battery. This is the battery that you need to replace. It is a HD03XL internal battery. It has got uh, the power ratings are 3470 mAh, 13.2 volts. This is the battery that you need to replace. Coming to the hard drive part, you need to remove this connector over here. There are no screws whatsoever held by the hard drive. You need to remove this entire frame and the hard drive will be off. This basically has a 2.5 SATA form factor hard drive. You can replace it with a hard drive or a SSD. Just need to remove this with your two thumb fingers very gently. And this connector has to be put onto the new hard drive and you can fit it back. And uh, you can again put it back like this. The best part is the two RAM DIMM slots. You can upgrade up to 32 GB. Just need to use your two thumb fingers and uh, remove the RAM. Uh, basically, it has a DDR4 low voltage 3200 AA RAM. Up to a 3000 megahertz RAM can be fitted onto this particular laptop. Just take a similar RAM and just put it back like this and press it on this. Now coming to the part where the NVMe SSD is to be put. This is where the NVMe SSD has to be put. You can put a M.2 NVMe SSD. We are putting in a Western Digital Blue SN550 SSD for this particular laptop. The screw has to be removed. The 2280 form factor is only supported here. Just insert it like this. This is the Wi-Fi chip. Basically, if you want to replace the Wi-Fi chip here, uh, the CMOS style is not visible. So we will not go deep. In another video, we will show you how to replace the keyboard where you can go deep inside and replace the entire motherboard also. The speakers are over here, one and two. You just need to remove the speakers very comfortably and remove this connector and you can replace the speakers. So let us put things back. Press all the corners. Alright, so this was a video showing you the inners of the HP 14S CF series of laptops, and uh, this is the video that you need to watch before buying this particular series of laptop. There's a pretty nice, decent laptop that HP has launched in an entry level to mid segment uh, category, and uh, nice features, lightweight, and looks very compact at the given price point. It's got 10th, 10th generation processor series, the i3 as well as i5. The screen could have been anti-glare, that is something that uh, was desirable, as well as more USB ports would have been desirable. The hinges are not going to be very, very uh, good in the long run. They're going to come off, I'm very sure about this, because very tight on open and close of the lid. The keyboard quality as is, is very nice from HP. The engraving of the letters and the uh, alphabets on the keyboard is very clear the webcam quality is fantastic the speaker is not all that great it has got uh, very easy access to the base wherein you can replace the ram put in the hard drive remove the uh, m.2 nvme ssd put a new one so could do a lot of things even the replacement of battery is very simple and straightforward so this is the hp pavilion hp 14s cf 3006 for you Hope you liked the video guys, uh, do let us know suggestions in comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much.